Hello, I'm Christine Stratton, President and CEO of NRPA. During an already stressful time, the disturbing news of these past weeks is especially disheartening. More lives have been needlessly lost due to the continued pervasiveness of racism in our society. We grieve the death of George Floyd and too many before him. As you work tirelessly on how you can safely reopen your parks, open spaces, recreation centers, and more, I ask that we take time to remember why we are doing this work. We aren't opening our most precious public spaces for just certain members of our communities. We are opening these spaces to provide essential services and maintain essential infrastructure to support and improve the health and well being of every single person in our communities. The essential services we provide have the power to bring our communities together, but only if we approach the management, care, and design of these spaces with intention, making them safe and welcoming to everyone. NRPA has produced several resources to help you make equity-based planning decisions and inclusive policies and programs in your communities. These include our resource on creating equity-based system master plans, our community engagement resource guide, and our Parks for Inclusion resources. Park and recreation professionals have the power to bring people together, especially as we work to safely bring people together physically in the months ahead. Let's think about how we create space in our parks and recreation community for important and difficult discussions, how we champion equity and inclusion in everything we do, and how we become advocates in the fight against racism. Until next time, stay well, take good care, and be safe.